Hmm. This is a very strange video. Looks like I'm showing a, uh, well, a cover of a, of a dictionary or something. I sure wonder what that has to do with uh, the video. I wonder what this has to do with, what does this have to do with anything? Why am I showing you guys a dictionary? Actually, I'm not showing you a dictionary. You're just looking at part of what I'm going to be showing you today. Oh yes, that's right, Kindle time. Well, honestly, the Kindle has been one of these things that, you know, it's kind of like the PSP for me. I sometimes want the P well, sometimes want the PSP, but sometimes I don't want a PSP. Currently, as of now, I'm not too fond of the PSP right now, and I don't really care about it. But I'm sure in the future, I'll want the PSP again. Same thing's true with the, actually these e-ink e-readers, such as the Kindle. I want the Kindle, and sometimes I don't want the Kindle. Sometimes I just have to have one, but then other times I'm like, eh, I don't care. But, um, over the past recent, uh, months, I've just been really wanting one of these, and, uh, this actually is my, um, late birthday present. Um, we didn't really get much for my birthday except some money, but using that money, I was able to, uh, actually go out and actually purchase an Amazon Kindle. I cannot believe it. This is so super exciting. Cannot wait to do an unboxing. I've only seen one unboxing, and I can't even remember what I, what was going on there. So I'm, I'm going to be kind of going through this with you guys as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get right on into this, shall we? Well, first of all, let me show you the packaging here. As you can see, Amazon Kindle. Ah! I got the uh, the black version. All right, and there it just shows the uh, dictionary definition of a, of a Kindle. Whoa. I didn't think you liked 3G. I don't like 3G contracts. This is free, no contracts, 3G. This is the seller point right there, actually. I'm not necessarily a reader, but I might have to start reading. <laughs> Obviously, if I have a Kindle, what's the point of owning, owning a Kindle if you don't read? Uh, Amazon Kindle. Uh, I, I might treat it like my iPod. I, I bought my iPod Touch here, so that way I you know, could have an easy way to access the Internet. Um, Although I don't have any music on here. I don't need to put music on here because I don't really listen to music. Same thing's true with the books. I don't really listen, read a lot of books, but... Oh, I'm sure I'll find something interesting. Uh, now, uh, right here, it's got some barcodes. Certified frustration-free packaging. Now, this is cool. Look at this barcode. I, I noticed this in the car. I didn't notice it right away. But look, they turned the barcode into the actual logo. I mean, isn't that awesome? I've never seen that done before. And you can see right here what it, t it tells you everything. Uh, these are on AT&T. The first ones and the uh, early versions of the second ones, from what I can remember from reading on Amazon's website, uh, those were on Sprint. But uh, the later version, the later second generation models, like their later supply, I don't know. The later, I don't even know how to say it. The later versions of the second generation and uh, this one are on AT&T. Uh, so that's cool. Free, 3G was Wi-Fi, and some tape that I removed because I could not wait to get into it, but that is still there, guys. I waited for ya. I waited for ya. It was hard. This thing is killing me. I've got to get into it. So let's do it. Let's take the uh, slipcase off here. Oh, i got to show you the inside of the slipcase. You might have seen this in other unboxings, but... Oh, you can't really even see in there. That's a shame. Hold on. Alrighty. You can kind of see what's going on in there, but if I turn this on, boom! Look at that, attention to detail. Oh yes, this is some good, decent packaging. There's some letters on the inside of that, which I think is awesome. Oh, I forgot to show you the back. What am I doing? Like some sort of awful person. Get back in there. Pretend I never slid this off. And everything will be fine. Get back in. Get back in. Hurry. Come on. Ugh. I want it to slide back in. This is absolutely incredibly annoying. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Back. I'll read this quickly because I know you guys are like, hurry up. Advanced paper lock display. Easy to read even in broad sunlight. No glare. For 3G wireless. No monthly payments. No annual contracts. Download books anywhere, anytime. Get books fast. Download and start reading in less than 60 seconds. Thin and lot white. As thin as most magazines. Lighter than a typical paperback. Only 8.7 ounces. K 
carries your library holds up to 34,000 books battery life of up to one month a single charge lasts up to one month with wireless off a bunch of random gibberish and right here we've got some interesting logos and a barcode certification of European safety recycle the packaging recycle the product and don't throw it straight in the bean alright let's go ahead and quit talking in this awful British accent and actually rip this thing open because it's been killing me this whole time but before we do that totally just remember this this is textured you can actually feel the keyboard like you know I thought that was cool you hear that I hope you guys well here let's see Nah, it's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, yeah, you can see through the light there. They're kind of embossed. All right, boom. Here we go. We're getting right into this. I'm sorry for keeping you guys waiting. Nothing on the back, yeah. Oh yeah, it just shows those uh, ah, shows those logos again, as well as some other stuff. Copyright 2010, Amazon Incorporated. Or uh, not. Let's do this. It says pull to open. We're gonna do that. Awesome, dude. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Certified, no frustration packaging. Yeah, it's very hard to pull that. It's very decent cardboard. Yay! You get a little whip, or whatever you want to call that. I don't know. All right, how does this thing open? Probably like this. Oh, there it is. Whoa, cool! It's got plastic packaging. Oh no, it doesn't. Crap, it's just plastic wrapped. Well, we will set that aside for now. And, whoa, what's this? What's all this? Oh, this is the instru- oh, cool. Getting started, guy, but with cardboard pieces. Sweet. Dude, that's awesome. Alright, so we got a getting started guide. Just show some basic stuff. Quick start guide, actually, I should say. And in here, we got the goodies. I mean, not that the Kindle's not a goodie. Uh, but, you know, these are also some more goodies. And, uh, much like the iPad, this is all you get. This is, like, embedded in there. Like, no way you can get in there. Actually, come to think of it, this box is very similar to the iPads. Huh. And I don't... I think the Kindle came out... Yeah, the Kindle came out before the iPad, but it's very similar. I don't know if the box thing has always been that way, but... Now, this is a big plus right here. It actually comes with a, um... USB plug here. So, uh, you can use this. Or you can use the one that Apple supplies with the iPhones. You can use anything. But it comes with one... An Amazon brand one, which I think is cool. So... That's totally sweet. And here's your cable. Nice six foot long cable. Oh, you know what this is? If this is mini USB, I'm going to freak out. Oh, mini USB. Does it fit in my camera, I wonder? If it does, then I've got another one of these. But you can never have too many of them. So I might need to hold on to that then. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway. And another shot of that Amazon logo. Oh, isn't it happy? Oh, yes, it is. Looks like that comes apart there. It's interesting. Alright, so. I have shown y'all the packaging. And now we're going to get to the star of the show. Which is... The Kindle itself. As you can see, it shows pictures without using electricity. Wait a minute. That looks a lot like an Etch-a-Sketch. I've never noticed how much it looked like an Etch-a-Sketch. even looks like a... What even says it up there? It even looks like a uh, 100th anniversary Etch-a-Sketch. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. Alright, sorry. That probably wasn't even remotely funny. I just couldn't help it. Alright, here's the real thing. Oh, yeah. So, here the back exposed. Show that off. Interesting. Kind of sticky, but maybe static. For it's static, but it is somewhat sticky. All right. So, this is actually the screen. This is actually not like a sticker. It's actually the screen. Isn't that really? That's really sick. All right. So uh, we've got. Let me show you a bit around this magical thing. And, uh, 
Yeah. I'm just admiring it for myself right now. I've never actually held one of these. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so. First thing we've got, we got the keyboard. Then we got the super duper awesome uh, e ink display, which is actually showing this picture. And right. That's pretty cool. Actually, the very first time I seen one of these unboxings, and actually the very first time I heard of the Kindle was from an unboxing. Uh, the guy tried peeling this off because he thought it was a sticker. It's not a sticker. This is the actual screen. Isn't that awesome? That's pretty sweet. Uh, we've got your buttons over there, and your menu button, and your your little thing there, and your your, your back button, and your home button, and you've got your text button, your space bar. You've got a lot of buttons. Ooh, that's gonna be hard to see. Hmm. Well, there you go, you got the uh, power button. You have got the, uh, uh, that's mini USB or proprietary. I'm having a hard time telling. That appears to be a headphones jack. This here's your volume rocker. And you might be wondering, dude, it's an ebook. Why would you need a volume rocker? Audiobooks? Derp. Think people, jeez. Alright, so what it says to do here is, uh, alright, what it says to do is, uh, step one, plug in your Kindle. It's showing a laptop there. USB power port. Charge indicator. Uh, actually, no, that's the actual Kindle itself. That was a. I thought that was a laptop. Power switch, USB cord. Slide and release the power switch below. Your screen will refresh in a few moments. Uh, plug into Kindle power adapter or computer to charge. Well, I'm not going to do that. What I've actually got here is a printer that has a built in USB port down there that you can't really see. But, where did that cable go? There's the cable. So, we're actually just going to plug it in my printer for now. Uh, here, I'll show that for you guys, and, uh, let's actually, yeah, so, let's plug this in, see it plugs in there, alright, so let's bring you back here, and, alright, so, step one, plug in your Kindle, step two, slide and release the power button below, alright, so let's do that right this second, people, we cannot waste time here, ooh, it's glowing orange, isn't that cool, as you can see, nothing's happening, look, right now, what we're we gonna do, Actually, you should really be, uh, that's a cool artistic shot there. Look at that. That's so awesome. Dude, that is a sexy shot there. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Alright, I'm easily amused. Alrighty, I'm gonna slide and release it. Ready? Steady? Go. Oh. Did you see that? Whoa, it's, it's, it's doing stuff. And... Here you go. cool thing about this, you don't actually need to take it to AT&T and, and activate it. It comes activated. So I find that to be really cool. You can see the little logo back there. And uh, you can see the tree. You can see Amazon's logo. This is taking ages. Oh my goodness. We must go through a time warp. Do. Wow. I had no idea I could do that. That's pretty cool. Archived items. Zetto. Showing all zero items. All right. Amazon Kindle. Oh, sweet. Thank you for purchasing. Thank you for purchasing Amazon Kindle. You are reading the welcome screen of the Kindle user's guide. Um, this section provides an overview of Kindle and highlights a few basic features so you can start reading as quickly as possible. You can leave this guide any time by pressing the home button on your Kindle. To turn to the next page, press the next button later with blup on either side of your device. Your Kindle must be registered to an Amazon account in order to shop in the Kindle store. If you bought your Kindle using an Amazon account, it is already registered. Otherwise, follow the instructions and get in blah, blah, blah. All right, what we're going to do, we are going to go ahead and press the home button. And we're going to go home. And we are connected via 3G. If you look up there. So that is sweet. If I have a power outage, I can still get on the internet with this. I have no idea I had 3G coverage up here. That is so cool, man. It's like three bars, but oh, cool. Okay, actually, this is cool. I had no idea it came with anything. It comes with the Kindle user's guide. Uh, the new Oxford A American Dictionary and Oxford Dictionary of English. I clicked it in case you're wondering. Sweet! Comes with a dictionary, man. I like that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, look into this thing a little bit. And uh, I will definitely um, get back to you guys a little later on. Oh, there she goes this way. Let's fly back. Uh, so anyway... That's the uh, that's the candle. How do I turn this thing off? Um, let's go back to home. Oh, we're already home. Let's see if I if I hit menu. Menu. 
Menu. Ah, sweet. There we are. Uh, alright, go back. Alright, so this is apparently like in a uh, standby mode now. Alright, so, how do I, how would I, um, turn this thing off? Um, I have no idea. I will be, uh, playing with this a little bit. Uh, maybe it tells me the Kindle user's guide. So, that's that. And as you guys can see, incredibly crisp. A lot like paper. I'm just trying to figure out how to turn it off. Because <laughs> I want to turn it off. Kindle and your computer. Whispernet! Yeah, via Wi-Fi only. Getting started. Your Kindle Amazon. Transferring books. Troubleshooting. What's that say? My Kindle will not turn on. My Kindle is unresponsive. It appears frozen. Oh uh, yeah, that can sometimes happen if your uh, Kindle actually uh, freezes. It can happen. Oh, is it still loading this? Are we actually downloading this or something? I wonder. 83%. I wonder what I was talking about. 83%. It says 83% down there, huh? I, I don't I don't really know. Go forth. Oh, thank you. Battery safety. Uh, maybe it, uh, maybe it says right. Uh, turn off wireless and flying. That's good. Careful around other electronic generators. Uh, where is it? 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 Actually, I don't think I see it anymore. I think all I do is, uh, let's go home. I think all I do is just pull this, and it should uh, go to sleep. Yeah, that's how that works. See that? Now it's in sleep mode. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I definitely need to play with this thing a little bit. So, I will see you in my next video. Um, and if you have any questions in the comments regarding the Kindle, um... You can uh, ask them. I am so happy to finally own one. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, cool. Shows different pictures. I can't. I wonder, if I, I wonder if I could put my own picture on there. What I'm thinking, I want to put my logo right there. I want to try that. I'll try to figure that out. So, Junior Wolf. I wonder who she, she's must be an art or a writer or someone. That's that's cool. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go now. Thanks for watching. Adios. Actually, I wanted to show you how thin this thing is. This thing is ridiculously thin. Look at that. And I also wanted to compare this to a pencil, if I can find one. Dude, I should have a pencil somewhere. Well, this thing is, I mean, on the website, go to the website, they actually compare this to a pencil. It's pretty thin. Uh, so anyway, that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, hey, YouTube. Um, I'm just going to be making this little quick uh, ending to my Kindle unboxing here. Just wanted to show you two things that I noticed. Uh, first of all, if you remember, I was trying to figure out how to turn the thing off. Turning it off is really easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. I kind of figured this is how you did it, but I just wanted to make sure. But what you do, you uh, you push and hold the uh, slider down here. You see how it lights green. Then it'll flash a little bit. And then after it's done flashing, you just load it and it'll turn off. And then the screen will blink once after that. Let's give it some time. There it goes. After that, it's completely powered off. Startup time on this thing, though, instant. That's crazy. And uh, if you just want to put in sleep mode, just uh, click it once, and it'll go in sleep mode. So, but if you want to turn the screen, I guess if you want to get rid of the picture on there, that's what you do. You just press and hold this in. In fact, that might be all it does. It just gets rid of the picture on there. Oh, whoops. You got to make sure you hold it in until it blinks off. So again, just watch. And then it'll blink after this. Yeah. And there you go. That is uh, how you turn it off. And if you want to use the 3G internet, you'll actually need to register this, which I'm going to do here in a bit, but you'll actually need to register your Kindle um, with your Amazon account, and then you'll be able to actually uh, do it. I th the reason for that is is because uh, actually I don't know what the reason for that is. You just have to do that. Um, I guess so that way Amazon will actually be able to uh, pay for your Wi-Fi. Yes, the uh, or the uh, 3G. The actually the 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 fees are on them. But if you actually I don't know. I'll get into more of this stuff when I actually uh, do a, a review if I ever do. So anyway, that's it on the uh, Amazon Kindle. Uh, definitely, definitely cool piece of technology. Um, really liking it. 
And uh, I really need to figure out if there's a way I can change these pictures. Because I don't want to always, you know... I'm not so into uh, classical books, and I don't really like seeing all these classical artists. I mean, it's cool. Some people might appreciate this. Me, personally, I want my logo on there, okay? And I also want sometimes the Amazon logo to show up. So I'm going to see if I can figure out that. Uh, but in the meantime, that's all for now. So thanks for watching.